My name's George Shaw, and you're here at my exhibition at Baltic Gateshead. It's a series of works which I've been working on for about the last 15 years. They're all paintings of the place in which I was brought up, which is a small council estate three miles outside of the centre of Coventry. This was made when I was a student at the Royal College. It's a painting of the house in which I was brought up in. The reasons for me wanting to make a painting of this particular house at that particular time was wanting to sort of do that journey back home, probably think at a time and a place where things were quite clear, things were quite sure. I mean, I always wanted to be an artist and me working away in this upstairs room is a memory I have quite fondly. It was a very nostalgic, romantic, sentimental, which was kind of a strange thing to have been doing at art school. Everyone I knew would say, oh, it's a bit sentimental in it, as if you were, there was something wrong in that. <laughs> but I don't know, it was, it was, this was my attempt to be a human being. <laughs> and one of the things that I was quite keen on doing was the visitor to the gallery would go on a walk and on the walk, they, they make detours to see sites of interest. They're not the sites which you would see on a national heritage tour map. For example, the telephone box, I mean, for me growing up, was quite important because we didn't have a telephone. It seems bizarre now when I'm carrying a phone in my pocket. Absolutely. In fact, the last time I saw that telephone box being used was somebody on a mobile phone in it. It's called the time machine. It stays solid. The rest of the estate seems to fall apart and it this resolutely defies time. If it was left there and then the, the great apocalypse occurs, I wonder what people in the future would think what that was. <laughs> a painting's almost like a time machine in itself. Maybe one of the things that we try to do when we're making images is to preserve, we're actually capturing things. I hope that over that long period of time of making, some of that concentration and some of those that time spent get soaked up. My hope is that other people will share that sensation. Uh, a pub which I knew too well, um, one of the last pubs I had a drink with my dad in before he died. That's a painting of it just shortly after there'd been a fire there and boarded up. And um, yeah, another thing, another thing gone. Sad yeah, I find it extremely um, sad. I feel that all this, in a sense, is a pathetic fallacy, you know, seeing the landscape or the climate, bits of concrete, that they reflect my emotional life. The reason why it's raining isn't because, because I'm sad, it's just raining. But uh, I think we have, a, we have a tendency to think that, the, that we're in union with these things. Um, and looking around this, this place, and finding these very familiar things that I've known since I was, well, since I could virtually see or think or walk, just being removed off the face of the earth without anybody saying anything. I mean, why would they say anything? It's just a shitty old pub. And I think the, the thought of things gone, like the thought of the ending of stories or the ending of, of a good night out, it's quite sad. Oh, has it come to an end? Well, all the paintings in this series are made using the enamel paints that most people are familiar with from painting model aeroplanes. It provides a very glossy, artificial, impermeable surface to the works. Like the place itself, it gave it, each picture a curious identity of its own. And they were quite perverse because they, you're making the paint do something which it's not designed to do. They're designed for painting bits of uh, radiator or, or touching up your bike. They're not the stuff of, of the oil paints made for, like depicting gods and kings and crucifixions. It's just not that type of paint. Here we go. Possibly the most unsophisticated um, painting <laughs> layout you ever <laughs> <to> witnessed. <laughs> I feel somewhat embarrassed that this is the, this is the, <laughs> these are the ingredients <laughs> of my life. <laughs> oh. It's like the painting table of someone from Last of the Summer Wine. <laughs> I don't mind being embarrassed. Well, if I, if I minded that much, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't exhibit. I'm embarrassed because it, make, it makes me feel alive.
think if people were embarrassed a bit more, it means something important is happening.